I've lived here 20 years. Never seen it this high. The rain has been relentless. Here in Sacramento, we saw the wettest day ever on record, and you can see what came with it flooding streets just like this. Water is rising all across this region, and the rain is showing no signs of letting up. Two dangerous storm systems converging, slamming the west coast. Heavy rain drenching a region stricken by drought. Dangerous flash flooding, swamping cars, and life-threatening landslides tumbling down terrain burned by recent wildfires. This drone footage showing massive boulders, rocks, and mud burying a highway where the Dixie Fire ravaged over 950,000 acres. The torrential rain and floods in Northern California fueled by the highest level of the phenomenon known as an atmospheric river, described by some meteorologists as a firehouse of moisture in the sky. It's aided by a cold front dragging across the state in part by a bomb cyclone storm system swirling north in the Pacific Ocean. From San Francisco to Sacramento, evacuations underway for hundreds of homes in the mountains. Two killed in Washington state after a tree falling on this car. Speaking of dangerous conditions from the storm that came through two days ago, that energy got into the plains yesterday and we had 13 reports of tornadoes there, including one just north of Kansas City. That one did bring some damage and we'll have several more rounds of severe weather with these storms that are coming into the west and now the leading edge of this is getting towards the northeast. So the severe weather threat today is going to be across parts of eastern Tennessee. Uh, the western Carolina is getting up into the mid-Atlantic, damaging winds for the most part, but can't rule out an isolated tornado late in the day. And this will combine with some energy that's off the coast, and flood watches have now been posted for the northeast. So over the next couple days, especially tomorrow and Wednesday, we're going to see heavy rain, maybe some wind with this. It will be a storm that will be worthy of tracking for sure. There are a lot of layers here, but late Friday evening, federal regulators said that the benefits of the Pfizer vaccine for those kids ages 5 to 11 far outweigh any potential risks. A key sign we could see those shots go into arms within weeks. New hope for families across the country that 28 million kids ages 5 to 11 could be fully vaccinated by the winter holidays with a green light for the pediatric Pfizer vaccine expected just weeks from now. If all goes well and we get the regulatory approval and the recommendation from the CDC, it's entirely possible, if not very likely, that vaccines will be available for children from 5 to 11 within the first week or two of November. Officials saying there are enough pediatric doses on reserve for those children who will be eligible. States across the country pre-ordering vaccines starting last week. At one third the adult dose, Pfizer saying its trial of more than 2,200 children showed the vaccine was nearly 91% effective at preventing symptomatic disease and there were no cases of severe side effects.